What's up beautiful people? It's Steph. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are doing the Goodwill Outlet bins. I need some inventory for my whatnot sale, which is always every Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below if you guys are not yet signed up to whatnot. You'll get a $15 credit. You can use it with me. Today I'm also excited because I'm doing a trade with one of my friends that always is at the bins. He likes to collect a lot of kids vintage clothing, so let me show you what I'm going to be trading him and hoping that we will cross past today because we've been trying to plan this for a minute and he's gonna be trading me something that's pretty sick so let me show you what I'm gonna bring him I am so bummed out that these pieces don't fit me look at how adorable this is this is vintage look at the embroidery on this it's so cute this one is absolutely adorable look at this one you guys so this one is a vintage 101 Dalmatians from the Disney store it's single stitch guys so this thing is old that one's also going and then this one is really cool so this one's an Elvis shirt this one's dated 1995 Elvis. Again, wish this fit me. It doesn't. But I think these are really cool items. Yeah, those are the items that I'm bringing over to him today. Hopefully he's there, guys, because this shirt that I want to trade him, it's freaking amazing. But as you know, I have to switch to my phone. Unfortunately, when I go in there, just it's a lot easier. It's so loud. I'll probably do some voiceovers. If we do the trade, I'll ask if he wants to be on camera and we can like do a little trade thing, but we'll see. Also, guys, I did my hair differently. Can you tell? I did little space buns. I'm trying out new things in my life. Also, look at this amazing shirt. I also got this off one. Whatnot. I feel like I grab everything off of whatnot now, so really cute stuff. But all right, I'm ready to go thrifting. If you guys are ready for this adventure, let's head out. Oh my god, you guys, there's actually freaking carts outside. Normally, it's really hard to find. Jack, I got my snacks, got my water. We're gonna put our IKEA bags in and we're ready to go. Yeah, I always highly recommend grabbing IKEA bags because at the bins, guys, they don't have bags. So I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before. So that's what we do. And always have snacks because we're here for literally hours. When we got there, we pretty much just went straight to the areas where they already brought out boxes and kind of already dug through. But, you know, I did actually find some really nice stuff. Like, look at this really cute crew neck. That, like, that is just adorable. Also, I found this other crew neck. There was like a whole box of really cool, like, granny core items. So I found this one with like the pearl snap buttons. This is really sick. I love this one, guys. And then look at this one. This one was also in the same box. I don't know how like everyone just like didn't take these. These are amazing. So after we went through those boxes, I didn't really find much more except for those that were like on the very bottom of the box until I pulled this really sick kids jacket. I'm kind of bummed it's kids, but I'm gonna take it. Also, look at these jeans. I love this brand. Also, guys, this shirt, are you kidding? Look at how freaking amazing this is. I don't know how no one picked this up. And then look at this, look at this purse. Like, oh my gosh, so good. And then this was also underneath that. So that whole row was pretty sick. I noticed that the bins were starting to get busy, so I went ahead and found this really cool blanket slash towel to cover our cart. And then I also saw that they were taking out some of the old bins. So I was like, all right, I gotta immediately go get a spot because they are bringing out new ones. This sweater is what dreams are made of. I love this one so much. This one, it's stained up, but I'm gonna try to nurse this back to health because look at how adorable. And of course, love this bluff, so had to grab it. I'm having my snack time now, guys. These are the sweet chili Doritos. These are actually vegan. I think this is the only brand that is vegan. And they're pretty good. Don't worry, I wash my hands before. Because there's no way I'd be eating this. But we're taking a break. I haven't brought anything new out, so. It's not quick it is. It was still pretty slow after my snack break, so I just went through some more bins that maybe we didn't find anything. But guys, look at this really cool crew neck. It's like a granny core quilted type thing, so of course I grabbed it. Then we kind of just were like, all right, we're done, so this is me packing up and uh, ready to go. I feel like I found a lot this trip. I'm excited. Okay, guys, hopefully you can hear me because when we were, we literally were walking out and somebody put this back. It's a vintage Minnie Mouse. This is coming home with me. Okay, but now we're officially done, so I'll see you guys in the hall. 
this outlet haul was so good you guys i had not had time to actually wash these items though so we're just gonna go one by one and actually show you the items that i got up close and personal you guys saw some sneak peeks of some items that i did grab but this was a good one guys so we're just gonna start diving in this bag and uh showing you the goodies i am obsessed with anything floral and especially like blouses like these like super flouncy i just love button downs for the spring and summer coming up these are really great to wear open over with shorts or wearing it as like a beach cover-up i love wearing stuff like this and look at this pattern super old tag this one's a size large obsessed with this one my friend wasn't there to do the trade otherwise i would have done the trade of the kids clothes so this is why this reminded me of this is the only kids item that i grabbed I love the tag on it, super western. The yoking on this, it's got a really cool trim. I wish this fit me, but sometimes kids stuff you just have to pick up. But if you guys follow me on Instagram or follow me on whatnot, you guys will eventually see the shirt that I'm trying to trade for. I don't want to spoil it because it's that good, you guys. So just keep an eye out. I also showed this one in the video. I'm really hoping I can get all the stains out. The stains are only on the front half of this crew neck, but I couldn't leave it. I had to try because look at this. Look at the good little pepper with the duck. This is absolutely amazing. It's got the really cool striping on the cover as well this is gonna need a lot of treatment probably a lot of oxy baths but i thought this was worth a try look at how adorable I love them. This one is really unique. I love that it's like a really cool primary colors all through the cuffs and everything. I also really like the front. There is a little stain on the front of this as well. So some of these I'm gonna have to do crazy spot treatments to as well as oxy baths. I thought this was also really cool. I'm shocked that no one picked this up. This was in that box in the beginning with all of the really cool grandma core things that I was picking out. So this one needed to also come home with me and I'm gonna try to save it because I think it's worth going into somebody's closet because it's amazing. I don't think I showed this crew neck because it was kind of pure chaos when I was going through the newer bins. This one's just a nice front hit of Martha's Vineyard. You can never go wrong with a nice crew neck as well. And when it's a size large, I love comfy crew necks. So even if this doesn't sell for me, I might just keep it in my closet. It's super clean too, guys. So love this one i try to grab really cool holiday pieces all year round and then save them for when it's time because when it's actually time you cannot find those things i had to grab this vest i never find halloween vests and this one's in really great condition i love the pumpkins on this this is absolutely adorable on the back there's just like a little leaf i couldn't leave this this is adorable i will be saving this i have some really sick holiday pieces that i've been hoarding so i mean obviously you guys know halloween's my favorite time of the year so anytime I find even any actually Halloween decor pieces I grab them because I feel like you don't come by a lot of them especially like there's so much Christmas out there but when it comes to Halloween stuff and it's vintage you got to grab it this one is probably my other favorite piece of the day that I found look at this this is so cute I cannot believe this was left it has the Raggedy Ann dolls super grandma core this is a 3x but this is like comfy the only thing I noticed there is some bleaching on the back but usually I sell like these shirts for like anywhere starting from three to five dollars so i mean someone can get a really good deal and not to mention it has like the bird houses oh quilter's dream grandma core dream this is so cute and it's on this really nice green color i'm so happy that i found so many grandma pieces when i was there because this one's really great these jeans guys look at this one's a darker pocket than this one i love this brand i think it's pronounced chic this is just a really nice wash high rise got that really nice pleating going down the middle of the jeans i love denim i love finding denim i think vintage denim is one of the best denims you can actually own in your closet these actually might fit me so i'm gonna try them on first before thinking of selling them but really cool contrasting i recommend if you're out thrifting and you find this brand pick them up try them on do whatever because i swear like these are probably like the best fitting i might actually like these for my body type better than Levi's so that's the brand check them out this one was also in that box with all the really cool grandma core items I'm shocked that like people left these behind because these were in the boxes that already had been went through look at this this is beautiful. I love that it's short sleeve too with like a mock neck. This is great for spring coming up. There's no tag in it, which usually means this could have been handmade at one point. So I love the colors a lot of this one. This one is also probably one of my favorite grabs. I'm obsessed with this pattern. I also love that it's a v-neck. So you can actually do layering underneath this one. I'm actually really liking the v-neck trend with these sweaters. And look at this pattern. It's gorgeous. I love these colors. I'm obsessed, guys. Look at this, the pattern. 
obsessed. So that's everything in the bag, but I was sitting here thinking, I know I had more and I brought more. Last night, I did start a load of laundry. It was like lighter colors, but I didn't want to put too little in the laundry. So there was a few pieces in here that I was like, oh, I'll just throw them in the laundry and they'll be ready to go. They're not, they're still like in the dryer drying. So I'm going to post little snippets of what I grabbed. I grabbed that really awesome like farm crew neck that you guys saw in the very beginning. This thing is adorable. The last thing that I threw in the washer was the other crew neck that was like cut out but it had the really cool quilting underneath so I ended up grabbing that one as well and guys I could not forget about the Minnie Mouse that I found on my way out the Disney store one this one also had a Goodwill tag on it so sometimes when you go to the Goodwill outlet you'll find items that have tags on them so this is an item that no one picked up in the store which I still don't understand how nobody picked this up I feel like I don't find anything with just Minnie Mouse on it it's always like Mickey and Minnie probably the other find of the day and it was just like walking around right out. So this is a lesson to look through every single bin. People just put stuff back anywhere. You'll find a gem sometimes. All right, y'all, that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me every single week. I really, really appreciate it. I always love shopping for really cool items, especially when you guys can have them in your closet. Don't forget to follow my whatnot. It's every Saturday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time live. Hang out with me. If you're not signed up, there's a link in my description box below where you can sign up to get a $15 credit to use with me or anyone else else on the app. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below to hang out with me every single Sunday. Also, don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram, The Wandering Fleur. I post daily outfit inspiration as well as thrifting behind the scenes content that you guys cannot get anywhere else. Thanks y'all for hanging out with me this week. It's always a blast and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.